Hi, I'm Star. Welcome to That Backyard Life. Thanks for clicking on my video. In this video, I'll share with you how you can actually save money by buying eggs in bulk when they're on sale. I'll show you how I actually freeze eggs. I'll cook a few and I'll show you the Dollar Tree storage bins I use to put store them in the freezer. I have dehydrated eggs using a dehydrator, but it does require a few extra steps. I have to scramble them first and I have to use the vacuum sealer and I have to use these special bags. I'm going to share with you how you can freeze eggs. That way I don't have to scramble all of these before I dehydrate them. But I do get the same consistency in flavor and texture whether I freeze them or dehydrate them. They still work the same once they're thawed out. You can use them just like regular eggs, but you have to store them depending on how you're going to use them. So some recipes require two or three eggs. Sometimes you may want to cook a meal so you'll add seasoning. If you're going to use seasoning, then you definitely want to make sure that you label your bags so that no seasoned eggs end up in your cupcakes. I don't label mine individually. I have two separate storage bins I'll show you shortly. But this is how they turn out when they're all bagged up. All of the eggshells I'll add to my coffee grounds and I'll use that for my compost and to fertilize my garden. Even though the egg consistency is very slimy, they do freeze very well as long as you have the Ziploc sealed and you have them stacked in a position that you want them to freeze, they freeze very well. I try to rotate them in the freezer every three months, but I have used some that were frozen for a little over three months and they still work just fine. So after they're frozen, when you're ready to use them, you're going to thaw them by just using cool water. You're going to make sure that the Ziploc is sealed so that there's no mess as they thaw. It normally takes about five to seven minutes in cool water for them to actually thaw out completely. I'll cook these so you can see how they turned out. Tell me what you think in the comments. And if you find value or entertainment in this type of content, we'd appreciate your subscription. This is an awesome device to have and I love this dehydrator but I'll use it to dehydrate the pineapples. Right now I'm going to show you how I store the eggs in the freezer. So I use these stackable bins that I got from the Dollar Tree. Two of them together take up about as much room as a small box of frozen burgers but they do hold about 15 bags each so that's about two cartons, two and a half cartons of eggs in each bin depending on how many eggs you put in each bag. Now you definitely don't have to use something this bulky. When they're at this stage, they're pretty versatile. So you can stack them however you want, lay them however you want. Just know that that's how they're pretty much are going to freeze. I wasn't aware that you could freeze eggs until a few years ago. So hopefully this video helps someone out there in YouTube land. If you can catch the eggs on sale, now you have a couple of alternative ways to actually store them so that none of them go bad. Thank you so much for watching the entire video, but I'm curious and I want us to share. Comment below and let me know how much your eggs were you're at and what do you think about storing eggs this way. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.